three backhands going awry and great chances for J.J. Wolf. 40. This has been a man who has traveled around the world and back in 2021 in search of points. and 22 on the year overall. At the challenger level, he is three and seven. Very clean ball striker. He can make 30, things look quite pretty. part about Uchida though is if you look at him and you watch him you genuinely have no idea if he is up 6-2-4-1 or down by the same score gives you nothing in terms of expression energy in terms of that side he is just there Backhand error for Uchida, who got through when Uchiyama retired in the middle of the second set. An opener. capability of using the athleticism time faces his parents are here once again today Set points on a relatively easy service game here for J.J. Wolf once again. to love Uchida just not being able to make J.J. Wolf take some big risks on these returns with the second. Uchida lets himself down with that forehand going awry. Three chances for Wolf.
1540. That's just too much J.J. Wolf there. Powerful for him from well behind the baseline. And Wolf setting a break to the good. Well. <laughs> he wins, wins it twice within the span of approximately... Half a second there. Called out and the overhead would have been good anyways. Two points away. Looking for that slider T. That's a double. 30 out. First since the opening service game. Which is interesting to note, because when do the nerves potentially pop in, right? You maybe talk about the start of the match, also at the finish of the match. Speed serve, Fuchita has 30, 30. to know is coming there with the slider out wide. He can't do anything with it. It's a match point. J.J. Wolf. A nice clean win for J.J. Wolf, our first quarter finalist here at the Champaign-Urbana Challenger in straight sets over Kaichi Uchida. Single breaks in each set. Wolf only facing.